this video, we will describe the rotations that carry a regular polygon onto itself. Remember that in geometry, the word regular is really important. It tells us that the shape has congruent sides and angles. Before we begin, let's consider this propeller. While spinning, the propeller needs to spin one-third of a full turn in order to appear the very same as it does right now. One-third of a full turn is 120 degrees because one-third of 360 equals 120. An easy way to calculate one-third of a number is to just to divide the number by three. We can apply that same logic to equilateral triangles. If we rotate the triangle 120 degrees, it will look the same as when it started. Another rotation of 120 degrees for a total of 240 degrees would also work. A full 360 degree rotation always brings us back to where we started. So rotations of 120 degrees and 240 degrees carry an equilateral triangle onto itself. To carry a square onto itself, we need to rotate it one-fourth of a full turn. We can see the angle of rotation real clearly by connecting the beginning and end points of the rotation to the center of the rotation. One-fourth of a full turn is 90 degrees because 360 divided by 4 equals 90. We can repeatedly add 90 degrees to get the subsequent rotations that work. 90 plus 90 is 180. And 180 plus another 90 equals 270. With a regular pentagon, it takes five rotations to go all the way around. The first rotation, then, that carries it onto itself is 72 degrees. We can keep adding 72 to get the other rotations that work. Likewise, the smallest angle of reflection for a regular hexagon is 60 degrees, because 1 -sixth of 360 is 60 degrees. So what we have seen is that the smallest angle of rotation that carries a regular polygon onto itself is equal to 360 divided by the number of sides. Let's try this one. What is the smallest angle of rotation for a regular 15-gon? Well, we can take 360, divide it by 15 because a 15-gon has 15 sides. and we get 24 degrees. To generalize this idea, the smallest angle of rotation that will carry a regular polygon with n sides onto itself is 360 divided by n. Signing off.